Hey, good morning. This is Bob Miller with a Sunday with Gratitude video, day number 180. Now, we're almost at the halfway mark here for this whole year. For each day this year, I am expressing gratitude for at least one person in my life. And so yesterday on, on my Facebook wall at uh, facebook.com slash Bob Miller San Diego, I posted a question, who did you, who have you met on, on social media that you're grateful for? And had a lot of response a lot a lot of people I, I i knew somebody was going to say me they were great because i posted a question but i was so surprised how many said that and it was like really took me back that so many people said that now the reason i'm mentioning this the reason i meant that i'm going to mention some names here in just a minute but the reason i mentioned this is because a lot of people post things like well all my friends or all of my social support buddies or all my all the, my family and and that's great, and I know you really are grateful. You really are. Otherwise, you wouldn't even you wouldn't have taken the time to to post. But when you say when you say like all my family or all of my people here, they don't know that. They're they're, they're not feeling that. It's like it's like getting a pebble and walking into the ocean and just like throwing a pebble in. It's not making any difference at all. And uh, I'm going to go back a little bit here. And when I first started doing these gratitude things on January 1st of 2015. I remember the first the first day. I think I was I was just gonna write down and, and, and say who or what I was grateful for. I was grateful for you know whatever you know my car, the, the weather, and things like that. And you know I, and I think I said like my family. And then I started thinking, well, that's it's not telling them anything. It's not mentioning any particular person. So I changed it. Like I think on day two or day three or whatever it was, I changed it. And I started saying I'm gonna tell somebody at least one person every single day who I am grateful for and and, and why to re, to why I'm grateful for them because it's so important we all have bad days we all have bad days and we all need to hear that you know you are the most important person to somebody in your life if some you somebody for, for somebody's life you are the most important person and so they need to hear from you that you care about them that, that you appreciate them and the reason why it could be your could be your partner you know your spouse so, you know family member your child whatever a co-worker somebody just tell let them know that you appreciate don't assume don't just assume that they know that you appreciate them that's how relationships die it's like it's like a, a campfire you know if there's two people sitting at the campfire and they both want to keep the fire going but you know one person falls asleep and and the other person doesn't put any logs in then after a while the fire just burns out so put logs in the fire tell people how much that you care and appreciate tell them every single day so here's the people that, that actually that mentioned me yesterday and i'm going to mention their names the people i'm i'm really grateful for who mentioned me yesterday Edie Galley, who I just met kind of just recently through the whole, uh, the whole marketing community. She's been a really good friend of, of Larry Hockman, who's an amazing guy. Edie is like one of the most inspirational people that you ever want to meet. She she lost a lot of weight, and she's just always posting these really cool, dynamic stuff all the time. Sandy Springer, stroke survivor from South Africa, always making great comments. I, I love Sandy from South Africa. Ian McKay from the UK. Ian, term, Ian was... Ian, um, Debbie Garcia termed, uh, told me about Ian McKay. He was the one that was got involved with Robert Hollis with unlimited profits. It turned me on to one of the, one of the best trainers in the in the, the internet marketing world. Um, Robert Hollis, so Ian McKay from the, the UK, Marianne Humphreys McCulgan from another one of my stroke survivor buddies was always responding and putting really great things up there. Leanna Blueport, Leanna, I remember I remember. Early on in our stroke support community, how you had this big meeting with with with, with uh, Sandy Parker, and I put you in one of my early videos. You're, you've always been an inspiration. You're always up there posting really cool things, and, and you had that big meeting with Sandy with uh, with Sandy Parker. And, like and it was two people that were lived sort of close to each other, and you finally got a chance to meet, and, and that was that was so much fun. How you guys documented it, Michael Brandy, M Y C L E Brandy, Michael Brandy. Yesterday he responded, not only did he say, I'm grateful for you, Bob, he mentioned all of these, like a big paragraph of the reason why he was grateful for me. Now, Michael Brandy is my favorite athlete. Here's a guy that has done more for stroke, stroke awareness, stroke support awareness than anybody that I know. He single-handedly walks across America every year. Starting started in 2010, he walks across America visiting hospitals, stroke rehab centers, uh, veteran centers, Telling people about, and here's a guy who had three strokes himself, and he walks with a cane. He does about 
does about a marathon a day, walking around preaching about the benefits of, of, of living healthy and how you can do it, how you can get off the couch. You don't have to you don't have to feel bad about yourself. I'm being attacked by a little fly here. But it's he's he's the most inspirational guy. Go to go to go to Michael Brandy walking across America on Facebook. Check him out. An amazing, an amazing guy. Thank you so much, Michael. Pat Quinn, another one of my stroke support buddies who lost about 160 pounds, was over, way overweight, diabetic, and just totally lost and had, he had three strokes. And now he's like, he's down like to about 130 pounds. And every day he documents what he's doing to improve his life. And so if you, if you see what he does, he just lets you know that it's possible. David Hukari, another stroke support friend of mine, who uh, he was paralyzed on his right side, which usually affects the speech, which it did with him as well. And he became a stand-up comedian. The guy is, the guy is up there. You can find him on YouTube. He is giving, I, I mean, I can't even imagine doing something like that. But David, you, you inspire me so much with, with, what, with what you're doing. Um, Stephanie Monica Mendez. I now I, she's a, a newer friend. She, she's a, she's one of my marketing friends. Don't know a real lot about her, but she took the time to post. I will get to know you more, Stephanie. Thank you so much for posting on here. Joan Dyer. Joan, I've known her from the very beginning when I created Stroke Suck back in 2008. She lives over in the United Kingdom. I was over there. I didn't get a chance to meet her. If I ever go back there again, Joan, I'm definitely going to look you up, and we'll go and have we'll have some some tea <laughs> or something. Yeah. Amazing uh, girl. Um, Rena Barnes, another stroke survivor. Most, a lot of these people are all stroke survivor friends. Always posting good, positive things up there. Just always just inspiring other people. I, I, I appreciate you. Paul Davey, friend of my sister Mary. Paul, you're, you're an inspiration. You're always posting cool stuff. Thank you so much for being my friend. Judy Fruent. Judy is one, is, is one of the people I met over the last probably year or so through, through our whole association with My Lead System Pro and that whole marketing community about people who are helping each other improve their lives financially and helping them grow. Thank you so much, Judy. You're an inspiration to me. David Frankel, uh, his, his, child, his child had a stroke at, 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 a, at a very young age, so he's really involved in the in the young children's stroke support community. So thank you, David. And and then lastly, the last one I posted today was Lindy Cook. Lindy is from a, a stroke support community that, that I created called Strokes Off Australia down under and so she took the time to go up there and, and say how she appreciated me so thank you so much guys thank you so much and then just lastly I just want to say you know we do need to take the time to let people know how much that we care and appreciate them because it just, even I don't care how important maybe people think you are we all have bad days we all have bad I remember when I first started posting I would always share when I created uh, the stroke support community I would I would share these quotes like Zig Ziglar Tony Robbins or whatever and I would share them and uh, and then I started posting sharing like posters and these little memes and things and then after a while I started creating my own my own um, quotes and putting my, my take home pictures and I, and I would share them all over the place I put them on my wall I put them in these groups and then after a while some of these groups they wouldn't even be alike there, there would be maybe you know like you could see 78 people looked at it but they wouldn't even like it and I said well you know I guess they don't appreciate me well I stopped posting there I stopped posting I started feeling bad maybe I'm gonna maybe nobody wants to hear what I have to say and so but then one person said hey listen if you can inspire one person to continue to go on to share to appreciate things then you've done your job so so then I so I, I, I contain it now mostly to my wall and to you know some of the pages that I have but this message is for you to go out there and make sure you tell somebody that you care about them and the reason why don't just say well I care for all my family I care for all my friends they don't know that they don't know. tell somebody every day tell somebody that you care lift them up you don't know what they're going through they might be they might be on a, a verge of, of despair, depression, whatever. Reach out every single day to at least someone because you are the most important person to somebody's life. And if you, if you aren't, become one. Okay, so that's it. I rambled too long. Have yourself a great day filled with positive momentum because you can do this and you deserve another chance. And I'll see you tomorrow on day 181. Thank you. I love you. I appreciate you. Bye-bye.